Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to go ahead and do that. So I have been on a weight loss journey since January 8th of this year, 2017. I have been burning from 400 to 900 calories five days a week. And I've been eating anywhere from 12 to 1600 calories a day, just depending on my workout and how many calories I've burned during my workout. So um, from this time, I really haven't been seeing a lot of results and it's really annoying. <laughs> I've been working out extremely hard, eating right, and I haven't really seen the results that I've wanted to see. I have seen some inches fall, but nothing has really dropped from the scale. The most maybe two pounds and I'll gain it back the next day. So not the results that I wanted to see. So I have try my best to just research and try to find a supplement that could maybe boost my weight loss in some way. And I came across a supplement called Fin375, not to be confused with Fitterman 37.5 milligrams that you can get prescribed from your doctor. This is called Fin375. It's supposed to be an all natural supplement. I have researched it. I've looked at other YouTube videos and try to find people, honest people who are reviewing it and not from the website. And I've liked what I've heard and I've liked what I've read. Um, I also have liked the ingredients as I've researched them. I'll do a whole review on Fin375 if it works for me later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my normal workout regimen for one week and eat how I've been eating for one week. And I'm going to record that. And then when my Fin375 arrives, I'm going to do the exact same workout regimen and eat the exact same way for another week and see if anything changes. Now this supplement is supposed to give you results in one week so in order for me to show you guys that I want to show you guys I guess a controlled environment I want to do the exact same thing for one week and then do the exact same thing with Fin375 and see if there is a big difference or a drastic weight loss some people have lost 10 to 15 pounds in one week so I want to see if that is the case for me so what I'm going to do in this beginning part of the video I'm going to make sure that these are merged so you guys can see both the beginning and the results I'm going to do a body shot for you guys right now and I'm also going to take you guys to the scale so you can see how much I weigh and then on next Monday I will do the exact same thing and um, we will come back and see if I've lost anything or if anything's happened I'll start my Thin375 hopefully it'll be here by this week and I can start it on Monday and we'll do the exact same thing and see if there are any changes. So let's go. Okay, so I have all of the stats in front of me so I can go through them all with you guys. So my starting weight is 179 pounds, 41.5% body fat. I actually started my weight loss journey at 194 and I started eating a little bit more clean and I was able to drop into 187 really quickly, but I haven't been able to pass this 187. So 187.9, 41.5% body fat. This is just me doing nothing but working out and eating the way that I've been eating, 1200 to 1600 calories, no Fin375. So the next week, 417, I weighed 187.8 pounds, 41% body fat. So I didn't lose any pounds, I lost an ounce, and I went down to 41% body fat. So that made me look up what's the normal body fat percentage to lose because even though you're losing weight, doesn't mean you're losing body fat. So most people lose about 1% of their body fat per month and that's the same thing. I've lost half of a percent of body fat in just one week. So that made me think that the product was working so I decided to go another week and at the end of this week, 424, I weighed it at 184.3 and 40.6% body fat. So I actually started to lose pounds. I think I lost about, what, three pounds here? I lost about four, five, six, seven, point three, point eight. So maybe three point something pounds here. And then I also went down again in my body fat percentage. So that makes me think that the product does work. So I'm gonna give you guys a complete review on the product and tell you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so Fin375 is a dietary supplement it is meant to give your body energy, getting your stored body fat into the bloodstream. It's supposed to reduce the hunger pangs, preventing you to crave food, increase the body's metabolism and fat metabolism, increase your body's temperature so that you burn more calories, and improves digestion. So I will tell you guys that this product worked great for me, but it was expensive. This product is $65. And it's $65 for 30 pills. And if you're taking two pills a day, like you're supposed to, I only took one pill a day to kind of spread it out. But if you're taking two pills a day, it only lasts for 15 days, and that's extremely expensive. Now, what I will tell you is it did help me with my hunger pangs and appetite suppressant definitely did that. I didn't eat nearly as much as I would normally eat during a day. Most of the times I wasn't even hungry, and I had to tell myself, girl, you gotta eat. So that's really good. Another thing I'll tell you is even though there's caffeine in the product, I was not jittery, not one bit. I had energy, but 
but it felt very natural which I really liked I don't like like I like to take pre-workouts every now and then and if I take too much I begin to feel you know like your lips are tingling and you feel super jittery I hate that feeling and then you get a headache after and it's super uncomfortable nothing with this product at all so the product worked amazingly well I would say but with it being so expensive I want to know if there's a product out there that works just as well for a cheaper price so I went to Amazon and I purchased a product which I'll be revealing very soon it'll be here maybe in a day or two and I'm gonna continue my weight loss journey with this product and tell you guys give you guys kind of like a should you pay $65 for this one or can you just buy a generic appetite suppressant type of pill and will that suffice so that's what I'm um, working on right now. Now basically my problem with weight loss is the fact that I just feel like I have a tapeworm. Like I'm just so hungry. So the basic thing that I need is an appetite suppressant. And I know a lot of people are against weight loss pills and things like that. I have been working really hard at losing weight, but I do have hypothyroidism, which makes it extremely hard for me to take my weight down, even though I'm on medication for um, the condition. So I've been trying a few different things. So. Fin 375 was a success, but extremely expensive success. So I'm gonna try out a um, cheaper pill and see if it does the exact same thing. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys.